I'm going to talk about the career scope in BSc Biotechnology. For that, if you're watching this video for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. So, let's begin. Firstly, an introduction about the course. The BSc is an acronym for the Bachelor of Science in Biotechnology. Usually, students suffer a lot of mental problems and confusion after giving the intermediate examinations to choose the correct path for studies. The students who have a good analytical skills and an analytical mindset would be great in this field. BSc in Biotechnology is one of the emerging fields nowadays. It is like an umbrella which consists of the majority of subjects of the life sciences like Biochemistry, Molecular Biology, Cell Biology, Immunology, Genetic Engineering and Plant and Animal Biotechnology and so on. Now you can choose BSc Honours for Biotechnology too. You can opt for this course if you are interested in the practical implementation of biological processes in real life. It opens different fields of medical science, food science, industry, pharmaceuticals and environment. Now, this is a three-year undergraduate level course in biotechnology. This course can be a good start for those students who wish to have a career in research and development. This is a course, in this course, students get an opportunity to create new technologies that can participate in upcoming future in their human welfare. Now talking about the eligibility for admission, the minimum criteria is to pass class 12 with minimum aggregate of 50% or above in higher secondary examination from any recognized board that can be state board or central board in the science stream by keeping physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology. Now moving to the admission procedure. The admission procedure basically depends on the university or the college you are joining. It varies from one college to another. Like some institutes provide admission directly on the basis of class 12 results and some institutes take an entrance exam for that. Now the qualifying students of that, from that entrance exam are eligible for a counselling session and thus they get their admission. Now if I talk about the entrance exams being taken, there is no specific national level entrance exam. There is no specific national level entrance exam. Some top universities like JNU offers admission by conducting their own entrance exams. Now, the subjects or the material that this course covers, that is, the field of biotechnology is already a vast one. It includes a deep study of cellular and biomolecular processes for developing different technologies to improve a person's life. Now, if I talk about the major topics that this course covers are macromolecular structure and analysis, cell structure and dynamics, biophysics and instrumentation, biostatistics, principles of microbiology, principles of transmission genetics, plant biotechnology, animal biotechnology, programming languages and digital logic, computational biology and bioinformatics, biodiversity and taxonomy, DNA typing, proteomics and beyond, elements of management, introduction and entrepreneurship and lastly plant and animal tissue culture techniques and applications. Now talking about the college. BSc Biotechnology is available in very many government colleges as well as private colleges. The exam pattern for this course depends on the university you have joined. Like some have a yearly exam that consists of only three exams throughout the course and some institutes also have two exams a year that is semester wise that comprises of six semesters in the whole course. Now if I talk about the average fees for this course, it depends on the type of university. Like if you are joining a government college, your course will, will cost around 8,000 to 10,000 per year. If you are joining a private college, the, the fees will be around 60 to 80,000 per year. Now, BSc Biotechnology is already a specialized course by itself, but if you still want specialization for your career, 
then the most trending ones are food biotechnology, medical biotechnology, environmental biotechnology, genetic engineering, and industrial biotechnology. Now glancing into the career prospects. Here's a top career option after completing the undergraduate course. Those are to pursue postgraduate in biotechnology and life sciences, to get a job in research and development, apply in the government sector or private sector, be an entrepreneur, work as a lab technician, join any research firm, food production firm or a clinical research firm, fertilizer manufacture, cosmetics ecology, consultation process, education institutes and so on. Now there are again two options after completion of BSc Biotechnology. You can move for further studies or you can move for a job. Now if you are opting for further studies, there are three branches open in front of you. Firstly, MSc in Biotechnology, second comes MBA and third is PG Diploma. Now many of you are maybe confused what is now this PG Diploma. There are different PG Diplomas that is the postgraduate ones offered by many institutes. You can opt for PG Diploma in Radiology Technician, Ophthalmology, Sonography Technician, Medical Coding and so on. Now, if I talk about the job profiles, if you are joining a job after doing BSc in Biotechnology, those will be like Biotechnology Engineer, Microbiologist, Bioproduction Operators, Lab Technician, Biomanufacturing Specialist, Clinical Technician, Biochemist, Process Development Scientist, Quality Controller and Quality Assured. The list of top recruiters for BSc Biotechnology are Grand Maxi, Biocon, Sipla, Cadilla Healthcare, Coca-Cola, Dr. Reddy's Lab, Nestle, Cadbury, Tabard, Patanjali and so on. Now lastly, there is a required skill set for the best job placements for BSc graduates from Biotechnology. Those are analytical thinking skills firstly, second comes the ability to work on your responsibility, third is knowledge of analytical chemistry, chemicals and its safe use, fourth comes the practical knowledge of using microscope, fifth is a good knowledge of computer which is very necessary. Sixth is the practical knowledge for the molecular biology techniques. Seventh comes the team working skills. And lastly, but not the least, comes good communication skills. So this is all about BSc Biotechnology. If you want a career in this, please visit our website knowmyscholarship.com and register yourself for more information regarding scholarship and admission. Our experts shall help you. With this, I would like to end my video. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video. Now, if you have any queries, you can ask in the comment section too. Thanks for watching.